Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. In this video, I am doing one of my favorite recent hair dryer pours. The colors and the movement in this are just gorgeous. To start off with, I'm using all Mixed Media Girl pouring paints. These are ready to go right out of the bottle. You don't have to add anything to them. And I wanted to get the sides and the corners covered before actually starting with my my painting because sometimes those can be a little bit difficult to get fully covered and also the sides can tend to be a little bit thinner so adding this kind of base coat for that helps to get a uh, you know deeper fuller color for those sides and just ensure that I get full coverage so I just used uh, one of my blues to get that covered and then got started with my design for the background I am using deep sea which is a dark navy blue it can sometimes look black but you'll see as soon as I put the other colors on top of it and blow those out that it is a dark blue and it's gorgeous and I'm using a Remington hairdryer I use this on high air and on completely cold if you do not have a hairdryer that has a cold setting that's okay you can use it with a heat setting just keep in mind you might want to work a little bit faster as that can actually dry the paint as you go so I love this hair dryer because it has the completely cold setting. You don't have to press any other buttons or anything. You just set it to cold and go. So I put all my paint in the middle of the canvas and then slowly pushed it out to the sides to get a full, even coverage. You could also use a spatula or something like that, but I find that using the hair dryer for this gives you the most even coverage that you're going to get. And then once I had that pretty much covered, I just went in with my hands and I made sure that the sides were totally covered and I got a nice complete base coat here. I started off with a line of white. I like to go diagonally, but you can go in any direction and I use kind of a wavy line. I don't go perfectly straight. You don't need a lot of paint for this. Um, but it depends on how much negative space you want to have. I wanted a lot of negative space, so I just use a little bit of color here. This one is pearl. It's not a normal color that I carry, but it's sometimes a temporary color that I have. Um, hopefully I'll be bringing it back soon because it's gorgeous. And then I added a little bit of Merlot. I wanted to keep this color scheme pretty simple, so I just went with these three colors, but I did add a little bit more pearl on top of that Merlot because I wanted that metallic in there and I knew that would help to create some cells and some really fun reactions. Plus it's just a really beautiful color with these other colors. <laughs> All right, once I got my colors on there, I went in again with the hair dryer. and how you blow this out is completely up to you, but I tend to do kind of a back and forth. So start off in one direction and go all the way don't stop in the middle push it as far as you can and then go to the other side and push in the other direction and here i did you can kind of see like a wave i didn't go straight um, which i actually really liked and just creates the flow of the piece and then i just kept doing that until i got to the end then at that point you can kind of decide if you want to blow out other parts a little bit more like here I wanted to blow out this part just a little bit more um, and you can also get in there with a straw or anything else to blow more specifically uh, there's one more part there at the beginning that I wanted to blow out other than that though I wanted to leave it leave that negative space and here it is I think it's just gorgeous beautiful cells beautiful colors I love that blue as a background um, and I think it looks great with the Merlot and the Pearl. The white would be optional, but I think it helps to bring out the other colors. And when you blow it over that deep sea, it makes a beautiful, beautiful blue. Um, none of these have any kind of silicone or any other additives into it. It's just the pouring paint ready to go out of the bottle. So here's the wet version. And then here is how it looks dry. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you all next time.